everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Decode Solution. If you want the best mock interview in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. Moreover, if you would like to receive some latest news regarding mock inter regarding interviews, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat right here. Okay, so today we're going to talk about one um, dynamic programming problem here. It's called a triangle. Essentially, giving you a triangle like this. So, so is if there's a four levels, so that means the last one has four elements. So each step, you just from top, you can only move to the adjacency numbers like this. Three can only move to six, and a five cannot move to th seven. They want you to find the minimal uh, path sum. So, as a first look, you might think this is a kind of like a uh, if greedy works, right? So, so you start with two, three. For example, this six is a one. So you want just always go through the, you always choose the smallest one. However, that is not true because once you select one, so the numbers adjacency to one in the next level could be super huge so that you actually chose the uh, wrong path. So essentially you have to calculate all the, uh, all the different uh, paths. However, remember this one is asking for the minimal number. So whenever you are asking for your minimal number, you DP, instead of all the possible solutions, DP should come into picture. So if you are not using DP, essentially what you have is, so this is essentially sequential, this one solution, uh, one times two times three. So this is more like an exponential way. So you're just essentially calculating all the different passes and then, and then you calculate the maximum number. So that's the brute force way. So with DP, essentially you can just maintain an array and each time this array, essentially you want the the array zero, the element on zero is your final minimal value, right? So you are um, essentially what you're gonna do is you just keep choosing the minimal value. So this is the minimal value on the second level. So on six, you will only compare with four and one, so you, you choose a minimal value, and this is a minimal value, and this is a minimal value, and then reach it here. This is a minimal value, minimal value. So um, this challenges you to use O n extra space. So essentially, this is called a rotating array. So you just use one array because before you override the array, you can get the value and then get the original value out, and then you override it. Okay. Yeah, so we're pretty clear about the algorithm, so let's code it up. So here I'm going to use collab edit this time. Okay. Let me paste the example here. this and so we want to go from the bottom to the top so what essentially we're gonna do is
Okay, so this is in DP, this is the initialization phase. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through the array. And we'll keep updating this array. So we'll need another we'll need another loop just to So let's see the result. So we initialize, so first of all, we initialize the last line. So now the array is 4183. So now we're starting from the next one, from the second to last. And then J is just basically looping through this how many times. If it's uh, the third row, it will be the highest element. So here we're trying to get i, this will never be indexed out of bound. The current j equals to this element plus whatever the minimum for the previous one. Get i and get j plus one. So j plus one is less or equal to i plus one. I which is less or equal to n minus one, so with which is totally fine. Yeah, I think this will basically give the solution. So the time complexity is so you have n elements, you iterate through this n once, and then horizontally and vert vertically. So that will basically be a square type of solution versus a uh, a factorial. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.